going to talk about a technique that we use on the drum set called a crash cymbal choke, or just a choke in general. And typically what this means is when you strike your crash cymbal, which is your cymbal off to this side of your body, you're striking it as you would normally strike a crash, which is on the edge of the crash, on an angle with your stick. But instead of just swiping through it and letting it ring out, you're choking it with your opposite hand. Choking it meaning cutting off the sound. And the trick is, is to strike the crash first and immediately right after, grab the cymbal. And just as well as with a normal crash, you're playing the bass drum under it at the same time. So you're basically striking a normal crash with the bass drum and then grabbing it right after. Something like this. So the purpose of a crash cymbal choke is that you're duplicating what your band is doing. At the end of a phrase, or even the beginning of a phrase sometimes, they'll cut off a chord or a certain section of a song, and you want to basically cut off with them and take away any sound that might be bleeding over. Sometimes it happens again at the end of a phrase or the beginning of a phrase. And what I'm going to do now is basically play a four bar phrase with a groove, and at the end of that, where I would normally place a crash cymbal on one of the next phrase, I'm going to play that, but shortly after, I'm going to cut off the sound. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. And again, you're aiming to match what your band is doing by cutting off all sound possible with the opposite hand. Give it a try and see if it works for you. <laughs> 